to this Straight game to going on right here. We're gonna get no, another, no. of course, I you, yeah, y'all heard it before, it's Can the classic. The classic. This it is, is classic. the classic. Mm -hmm. We have Jen versus Vivi, and this is winner's quarters, if I believe. Um, but for sure, you know, we've been seeing Vivi consistently at the top, you know, because it's Vivi. Vivi is really good. But we have Jen back, so now we're just kind of see VV playing a little bit of a different game. I wasn't too accustomed to, you know, a lot of the games a lot here when we actually did see, you know, this game's kind of going on, you know, pre-quarantine era. <gasps> but... Oh, okay. Imagine. Imagine you got hit by that. You saw it coming. <laughs> oh my god. That's literally so crazy. Yeah. But, you know, ooh, oh, okay, that was very nice. Closer. I wonder if they had a little more R charge they would have reached. Very nice head bump. And knowing how long that character ca uh, takes to recover, they're kind of like bait food for like two faming, but mm -hmm. Vivi gets a nice little two piece to take the stock off. So see how Jensen reacted. Whips jab on their shield. Very nice. I literally, I can't wait to just like see how this actually match plays out because right now we're already on, you know, Jen's second stock. Ooh. However, this is kind of where we need to see, you know, Jen kind of like try and take some sort of kill option. They don't have the same tools as pre-quarantine for Palutena. However, like Jen still got it. Yeah, they still play a really good Palutena. Like it's, it's just ingrained in their in their minds that they. They play like a top three player here in New York. Period. Um, but gonna be a wall here. Ooh. Trying to keep the car off, but. I definitely already love the way that you know BB has been playing. Oh yeah. God, what BB has been trying to do from like kind of the beginning of the game is just make sure that they stay on the ground most importantly, and kind of mix up those timings like we see a lot there. Whenever Jen actually wants to run in, we see a lot of BB just turning around using Aura Spear and just. I guess getting juggled because that's what it's looking like right here. And speaking of getting juggled, I love the situations where, you know, Jen actually tries to frame trap people when they're getting juggled, throwing in that up air and then maybe even a back air or a nair to kind of catch people slacking. Oh. But you are not catching Jen slacking with these defensive options because right there, he should have placed the defensive option, but he didn't. He kept it very nice, very, you know, calm. And then now we have Vivi continuously at the corner and just trying to get back. That's literally so crazy. Oof, doing a really good job of holding their stocks at peace here. Until this happens, the explosion goes off. Jen up two. Vivi got some work to do. Absolutely. And that was a very nice catch on Jen oh, too because Jen saw that was actually, there was a few times we've seen those situations. Ooh. Oh wow, that was, that was weird how they got sent that way. Yeah, but we Couldn't saw a lot of situations where um, BB would actually go horizontally, horizontally to actually get back to stage. But, you know, right now we're just doing gen things and kind of getting juggled. Like, you thought you could get back to stage? I don't think so. I feel like going back to neutral against Jen is one of the scariest feelings in the world because they'd be like, alright, time to outplay you. <laughs> they take all the damage with it. <laughs> but for all sure. Right. Oops. So. Even a piece. Vivi's getting some good hits in. I feel like it's working out better for them, but it's still Palutena, so she can kill you at a fairly early enough percentage if she wants to. I think the one thing that Vivi is kind of struggling to is kind of at ledge. We see that, you know, Vivi is known, or like not really known, but a lot of what we see from Vivi is their defense or um, their ledge trapping prowess. Oh, Ooh. you with the whole. Slow counter right in my face, right in front of myself. Oh, no. <laughs> you're getting side beat right That's off the so stage. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, we well, don't really usually see a lot of situations where Vivi is actually the one let trapping, but instead, Jen's the one let trapping. I mean, if it wasn't for that, you know, counter right there, we would have seen, you know, a lot more let trapping going on, and that's just what happened. Hmm. But I definitely know that Jen already knows how this game goes. He's been playing it. It's just a little bit more of readjusting to because, you know, we haven't seen Jen here in forever. Oh, yeah. We're actually playing. You know what I mean? So for sure, just playing a lot more of this neutral. I definitely love the way that, you know, Jen's already playing it. He's just pushing the B button. <laughs> He's annoyed. He's upset. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it, was, sure. it, was a, it was a good test of the waters in the last game going for that counter. But it's very uh, high risk, high reward type type maneuvers at the last stock of all things. 
Absolutely, and so that's just... less of that would be ideal against Vivi. Like I don't think I don't think you're gonna see that that down B come out again on the last lock situation for the rest of this set. But yeah. And to speak of just like this game in general, like not as much has changed. Although you know, like her, um, you know, fair is a lot less safe on shield. You can actually punish it now. Oh. You know, aside from that, not much has changed, and we can really see that overall because of the way that you know Jenna's actually been playing this. It's really just the fact that like now, like BB is just taking into consideration now. Okay, I don't really have to worry about anything. Now I can kind of just like take my time, and then if I ever need to like you know read something or just react to everything, BB got that. Oh yeah. Maybe. And also some. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Just another thing. I we haven't seen Jen go off stage too much. That probably mostly being to the fact that like you know Nair is a thing, but like or Nair isn't too much of a kill option anymore. But still, that's just like really crazy. All about that positioning. They can't get this punch up up B, but the Nair active enough to catch that last little frame. Let's see what Jen does from the ledge here. Oh no, everything's missing. Okay, so this grab connects. There you go. Period. Period. Give her that stock. Hold down the neutral, these nares. Oh. Two hits. Does he get the tech chase off the platform? You know, the thing Could is, too, more. I honestly really think that Jenna's getting a little bit too complacent in the nares that he has been kind of throwing out a lot of the time. Um, a lot of the time, he'll just throw out the nares because, like, he knows that some people can just get hit by it, and then what are, you, does he gonna, what are they going to do? You know, like get hit by that, I guess. <laughs> but for sure, I think it's more the fact that, like, what we're seeing right now is Tim just kind of, like, using Nair, and then, like, although Nair is really good, he crosses up with Nair, and not only the fact that he's a cross up with Nair, people don't know what to do Ooh. when you actually get crossed up with Nair. They don't really want to use a defensive option because that's kind of what Jen is looking for. He wants you to, like, scout out all these Chase very the bad defensive air. options, and VB was spent, or has spent most of that time being in disadvantage that whole game. That was literally so crazy! Bibi could not play the game that last uh, uh, stock right there. No, ma'am, absolutely not. The pressure was on and Jen was covering everything. This is literally a fight of deities. <laughs> we have the Anubis dog and then we have an uh, actual uh, goddess, but please. Yeah. But which goddess is she? Um, I don't know what goddess she is, but I just know, we just know that she's a goddess. Mm -hmm. That's a, lot of, like uh, that's a lot of pit lore that I have never even watched. I just know that she's goddess. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she'd be there. She'd she be up there. Oh, oh she'd be up there sending them up there with that up smash off the ledge. Jen taking a game right back against Vivi. What, a, what a clap back. We did not need to see this absolute murder. I think Jen was a little bit upset with that, how that oh. first game went. Got that up smash. The uh, the adaptation from Jen's Statue of Liberty. Look at look at the dog. Look at the dog. Where's the dog going? To heaven. The dog thought he could go to the... Oh, he got... Two frame. Wow. Look at this two frame with the up smash. Jen is back, baby. Oh, wow. Look at that. There, there'll be no magnet hands. Oh, my. Oh, no. That, that's look at your death. Oh, God. Look at it. Here. But we're Majestic. going to small battlefield. This is new, or oh, a little bit. You know, definitely we love getting back into seeing this stage because this is a little bit more of a different thing. I actually really feel like this is a lot better of a stage than PS2. Ooh. Um, for especially just like this matchup in general, there's Holy a lot Adam. of times oh, yeah. like you know you kind of have to like just play the game a lot more of the time. But like it's still really good because it's like a pseudo it's like a pseudo both of those stages. So Battlefield and PS2 obviously because it's small battlefield, but like you kind of have the addition of having a small space like Battlefield, but also the platforms of PS2. Which isn't really the best thing. You don't always have that extra space to go to whenever you are in disadvantage. However, it's still kind of the same concept. Oh yeah. Ooh, and the smaller stage, the easier it is for these teams to die, so Gotta be worried on VB's aura charge here if Jen does happen to get the lead back. Oh, and that Chase very nice color on the jump. Y'all forgot, y'all can't jump against Palutena. Oh, not no. in disadvantage, because stuff like that happens to you where they read your disadvantage options and you will not have fun. Absolutely not. Oh, no. Again, the ledge happen coming in from Jen. Just gonna have a situation where VV has to be really scared about how they get back Ooh. off, you know, onto the stage. And Jen doesn't really have to worry about that because Jen knows how to do this. He knows how to play this game. What you thought? 
That's the be reverse there from the R Spears. Period. Obvious Gonna get that. Oh, no. no kill off the explosion. Oh, catches the jump. Look how big that thing was. Covered the whole platform. Couldn't even land. For sure. Oh, God. This is looking a little scary. Jenna's just trying to control the air with these nares, but also knows that he needs to take off this stock because he doesn't want to deal with Lucario. Who would want to deal with Lucario? All right. Mm -hmm. So I will play this game. <laughs> oh, nice catch. It's two frame again. Ooh, Sets up that back very air. nice read. Perfectly. Jen is ready to move on in the set right now. Up two stocks in Vivi's head. That was a very nice tomahawk right there into another nair. But for sure, you know, Jen is very complacent. He wants to get these nairs and he wants to combo you. So if you don't give it to him, he's just going to look for another way to actually get it. Oop, the oh, nares. Right. Yes, the nares. Give me the combos. Very nice fair to read that grab in. I guess the grab okay. off the ledge here. Oh, what a berry. Jen, you are ready. Jen is literally trying. This you thought this is literally so good. Jen has been like just trying to read all these landing options, and he knows all these landing options so well as he know how to put people in fear oh, and just goodness. catching that normal get up. That's literally so crazy. This is. Wow, this is kind of looking like a done deal for Vivi. If Vivi can't just pull it together and absolutely take this stock, for sure. We need to see Vivi get a little bit more of ledge trapping because, you know, although it's Palutena, I can't ledge trap Palutena as a little doggy. Mm. But we definitely need to see that. We need to see a little bit more of Vivi not being on the back burner. But that's kind of what we're looking at right now. Vivi is at 63% and has left Jen all the way over there. Oh, in the sky, but ready to just... Ooh. Okay. Jen doing a really good job of keeping this under control. They adapted it well in this game three. And they're one clean hit away here. Ooh, taking this okay. last stock. It's, oh my there God. it is. Oh, no, it's not. One more, one more. One for real, for real. Period. Yeah. Let me tell you a little something about that game. Yeah. Because literally, not even just that game, the whole game overall, I really love the way that like Jen actually approaches juggling mm. situations. Because like on a, although it's Palutena and people forget about the fear that is Palutena, Vivi has been in a numerous amount of situations where he's in the air he doesn't want to be in the air because he, if he goes below, he just gets caught for a lot of situations just being below. And it's just like, what can you do? Like, you're trying to ledge trap this character and then you just get hit by explosive flame. You know, what are you trying to do? Okay, although, you know, he kind of got that, you know, very nice aura spirit. But like a lot of situations, like, look, this is where VV will jump and then he'll try and get back to ledge, but you can't even do Two that frames. because you just like, Helps can't so even much. get back to Sage. What's going on? Yeah, it was just, Jen was just ready to react to any any time they put VV off the stage for a kill here. Elf smash off the, off the ledge get up. Two frames. The back air on the up B attempts is to force them off and pick an option. Jen was just ready. It was just a matter of uh, Vivi not having to be put there in, in, the, in the first place to avoid the situation. It was very hard against Palutena, who's so fast and has good buttons. She's... <laughs> Bye. <laughs>